hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be on this look right here so if you want to know how to recreate this look please keep on watching okay so i'm going to go ahead and start with my face i've already um primed my face so we're good to go and now i'm going to go ahead and use my um this is the fit me uh dewy smooth foundation it's on the it's a dewy one because i am dry i have a dry face like my chin area is like always dry my forehead my nose is sometimes oily but most of the time it's dry so yeah this is in the shade 315 soft brown so i'm gonna go ahead and um apply that and i like to just Dab it on. And I don't do like thick layers, so I know it looks like it's a lot, but I don't do thick layers, so I just so and then I'm gonna go in with my um beauty blender. I like it take it's taking down my chin. I mean my neck. So I'm going to go ahead and use the e.l.f. Um, concealer. This is the 16 hour camel concealer. Um, and I'm in the shade medium beige. Well, I tend to do go a little bit lighter with this um, concealer. But yes, honestly, it's bomb. I, it's, I want to say it's a dupe for the Tarte Shade Tape. Um, and it's way less um, than the actual tape shape. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a little bit and highlight. Looking cute already. Just I like to take it up on the top to use it as a base for my eyeshadow. So then I'm gonna go ahead and um, bake. Well, honestly, since I'm a dry person, I don't really bake too much, but I um, just like to set my foundation and the concealer. So I'm gonna use the RCMA um, powder. It's no, it's no color powder. Then I like to just get like a powder brush and just do my whole face just to set it. So I'm going to go in with my contour palette. It's a little old, but um, it's the Anastasia one. And I'm going to just get um, a brush and honestly I just use the e.l.f. Uh, little small brush like this. I just like to tap the excess and just contour, but take it a little off like this. Uh -huh. And then contour the face. See? I like to just contour and like bronze at the same time with it and do my my forehead and my double chin and then I like to just go back over with the brush and just anything I like over did smooth it out like that I like to do my highlight 
then my blush so that way the highlight kind of like blends in with the blush so yeah i like to do my highlight i'm gonna get my tapered highlighter brush and it's a luxie 522 brush this is my favorite brush and then i'm gonna use the pretty vulgar shimmer swan um shimmering swan sparkling sass highlighter Let's take it down my nose. Yes. Feeling myself already. Another pretty vulgar, um, pretty vulgar brush or blush. Um, this brush, I think Mona. I don't know. Like it came in my boxy charm, but it's a blush brush, and I'm gonna pretty vulgar make them blush hush blush. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera because honestly, this takes forever for me. And I'm gonna use the Total Temptation Brow Definers in the color Soft Brown. And this is by Maybelline. Honestly, one of the best, best drugstore um, brow pencils ever that I've ever tried. I did my brows off camera. Um, I'm gonna insert a little clip of my brow down so when I have a good brow day, so. Hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, and I'm gonna just go ahead and add a little bit of highlight to my brow bone. Uh, Cause you know, bitch is having a good eyebrow thing. Yes. So, just a little bit like that. I wanted to also blend it in with the with the shadows that I'm gonna use right now, so I like to do this too. Before, you know, like highlight. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start my shadows, and I'm gonna use the James Charles palette. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use. Um, honestly, like I wanna do like a purple look. Look, look, so what's this for? I'm gonna go in with this color first, this, and then actually do this color as a transition color, and then go in with this one. So, I'm, this is color one, color two, and then color three and four, possibly. I don't know. Let's see how that turns out, okay? Because I don't know myself what I'm doing. But, yeah. So, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I don't know the names of these colors. I lost the little... What's it called? The little thing. And I didn't... Obviously, oh, yo, I'm not going to memorize all of them. But, anyways, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and just go in and just do my whole eye. I have to get a little up closer and personal so I can better see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going in with the transition color, like I said. Just going, you know, blending that in my crease. Blend it, blend it, blend it. I probably do this eye off camera, but let's just focus on one eye for now. Take me forever to do both eyes at the same time. Okay, so that's blunt. 
But I'm going to go in with that second color that I told y'all about. And blend that on my crease. So far, so good. Looks like it. Okay. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that third color. Oh, this shit is pigmented. Okay. Um, also on my crease. get like a little oh my god I like it yes okay go back to this little brush and just do the other side and honestly I like to like twist it so it's like wait, how do I explain this okay so when I'm in the crease I twist it to the side like this and when I'm in the middle of the crease, I twist it like, and I go like this, like in and out, like when, like windshield wiper motions like that. But when I'm like in the crease to like blend the top and the middle, I always like to like, you know, twist it this way like that. And then I go like this. So first I do it like this. And then like, that's how I do it. That's how I blend it. And then just for a little bit of added blend, blend, grab this one. Then I'm gonna honestly probably go with the, go on with this shade probably, or this one and this one, we'll see. I don't know. Ooh, my hair looks cute too. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back with this brush and then go with the light purple. And just put that in there. Just put it in my, in my crease. Okay, let me go in with the dark purple. Oh, she rich. I like it. Then I'll use this shade. This is in the palette too. It's next to, let me show y'all. It's this one. So I'm gonna just use that shade, color dip. Okay. I can see it on camera, but I mean, 
It's super soft, but it's not that pigmented. No, I'm lying. It's good. Okay, that's good. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead with go in with the little small I don't know what the fuck call these brushes, but yes, the little small brush, tapered brushes, I guess. Go in with this one and then just repeat the steps that I did earlier. So the bottom. Go in with the little brown transition shade. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the the second color. Then with the pink color. Oh, yes. Purple. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this palette and just highlight. That's what I'm gonna do with a little one, with this one right here in my inner corners. What I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna get the same brush and I'm gonna do the purple since it's a little damp and I'm gonna just go on my lash line. And then smoke it out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put mascara on. Um, I'm only doing it with the bottom lashes since I do already have um, my extensions, my last extensions on. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do some at the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do mascara, and then I'm done. Um, oh, my lip, oh my God, I'm all dead. Um, I'm gonna use the Voluminous Carbon Black and the L'Oreal um, mascara. Okay, so I decided to just put it on my lashes. So they got a little like dusty from all the stuff that I put. Oh, 
I did my lips and um, it's a um, Ofra lips, um, what's it called? It's an Ofra liquid lipstick. Now I don't remember the name because it came off on the little thing. So I will go ahead and link it down below, the specific name for that. Hey guys, so I forgot to do the outro for um, my video. Um, but it's already almost the end of the day so sorry but yes thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video